This is the JM Go N1 Ultra, and I'm absolutely blown away by what this thing can do. It is unbelievably good, and it's definitely something that you ought to consider. It does an incredible picture, even in the middle of the day, exceptional when the lights are completely dark, but also it is great for gaming too. This thing just delivers far more than I ever expected. So let's take a closer look. Don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and click the notification bell to get my next video first. Now, depending on when you're watching this video, there is a Kickstarter on this and it's going for an incredible price, but the latest links what are live at the moment will be in the description. Okay, so let's have a quick look at what's in the box. And it's pretty simple. You get the projector, the remote control, and also the power cable. Now, this is a really unusual projector. It sits on a gimbal style stand. It's 4K Ultra HD and it's laser fired. This is the remote control, which is fairly basic, fairly simple, and unfortunately it's not backlit but this is the package that you get. But I love the look of this projector. It looks absolutely awesome. It's made of really high quality grade materials and everything about it just feels incredibly premium. It really does look the business, feel the business. Now this, as I mentioned, is a gimbal style stand and so therefore it can position in multiple different ways. And I'll show you that in just one second. Okay, on the back of the projector, as well as two fans, which keep it nice and cool and quiet, you have a USB port, two HDMI 2.1 ports, one of which is an HDMI eARC port, and also there's a headphone jack. Now I think the front looks really cool, as well as the main lens for displaying your image, you also have your cameras and your measuring for the smart tech built into this, and I'll show you that in one second. This is where it will automatically focus and automatically position and set keystone and things like that. The power cable is actually plugged into the stand, which is unique and novel, and so is the power button. You turn it on and literally just a few seconds later, I've not sped this up at all, the projector boots up, and so that is really pleasing. I mentioned earlier about the gimbal style stand. Now the first thing I have to say is it's incredibly well made and incredibly well balanced. No matter where you put the projector, it stays exactly there. It's never in danger of sliding or falling to one end or the other. So this is incredible for the smart technology that's built into this projector. With the auto keystone and the auto focus, it really means that you can position the projector absolutely anywhere and it will deliver an incredible image. And believe me, that image is fantastic. Those of you that are projecting onto a screen will love the fact that it has auto screen alignment. And this is where it will automatically detect the screen and then position everything so that it fits within the screen. And as you can see, after just a few seconds, it will remove any of the image from outside of the screen and it fits the screen pretty much perfectly. It also therefore does the auto focus at exactly the same time. I'll give you a practical demonstration of the auto keystone in just a few moments when I show you the gimbal moving, but it also has manual keystone correction as well, so you can go in and drag the corners to fit whichever screen or wall you're projecting this on. Now I'm projecting this onto an ALR screen, and that probably ends up making this image, because this is not a projector designed for ALR screens, it probably makes it come across slightly darker. If you were on just a white screen, and when I show you on my white ceiling later, you'll see that it actually looks even brighter. There is lots of focus settings as well. There's autofocus, there's manual focus, and there's also focus calibration, which is a feature which I really like. And you've got the option to digital zoom and pan, and you can go in and just shift the picture up and down, left and right, and make it bigger and smaller. I wanted to demonstrate just how great the focus is on this projector, and so therefore using that previous screen, which was the focus calibration, you can see if I zoom in, in, it just is incredible the focus right across the screen. It looks brilliant. And this is projecting from a distance of around 12 to 13 feet. Now you do also have the option to have different projection modes, so whether that be ceiling, front, rear, whichever you want, you can change, and there's lots of options to change the screen. There's some safety features built in, like automatically turns off the laser when you get too close, which again is a nice touch, but on the actual picture you've got all different modes, vivid, standard, movie, game, user, and also office, and you've also got the option to go in and calibrate those to a degree as well, so when you do go into them you can then 
fine tune them. And that will give you options for changing contrast, saturation, hue, sharpness, gamma, and color temperature, as well as a color tuner and an 11 point white balance correction. So that is all pretty advanced. There is also a 3D mode as well, which I've not tested in this video. The projector runs Android TV 11 and everything that you'd expect to be there is there and everything you'd expect not to be there is not there. Hello Netflix. So you can get around that with a Fire Stick or an Apple TV, something like that. Right, onto the sound of this projector. And now this is incredible. Two 10 watt speakers and a 45 hertz bass. And this just sounds absolutely incredible. Far lower than I was expecting and also far louder. This is what Dirt 5 sounded like picked up from the camera mic. So without doubt, in my opinion, for a projector of this size and this positioning, it is by far the best sound that I've heard. It knocks some of its competitors out of the park and it's all down to the bass, but also the quality of the stereo. It just sounds brilliant. Now, having said that, I definitely still recommend that you take advantage of using the HDMI eARC port and hooking this up to a separate sound system, because if you are going to be displaying this on a 100-inch screen, if this is going to be a main cinema movie projector, which it definitely can be, then I definitely still think that a surround sound system or a soundbar and a sub is going to give you a better experience, because it will position the sound better and it will also give you that more cinematic feel. However, if you're going to be using this projector, for instance, outside, then this sound system System is going to be absolutely fine for you in a bedroom and a second room then it's going to be brilliant it really is very impressive the sound talking of sound listen to this Exactly. Almost no noise at all comes from this projector. It's measured at less than 25 decibels, but I could barely hear it at any point. It just never seemed to make any noise. And you can see from the shot that's in the picture in picture, I was very, very close to the projector whilst recording the sound. So this is a super bright projector with a 4000 ANSI lumens rating and also 1600 to 1 contrast ratio. But what I really loved was the colors. At 110% of the BT2020 color gamut, the colors were just exceptional, natural and really felt very lifelike. And almost no matter what I put through this projector, it also looked fantastic. Whether that be SDR content or HDR content or gaming, it just looked natural, not oversaturated in any way. The colors were crisp and accurate and also the darkness of the blacks were surprisingly good. Now I just wanted to quickly demonstrate that if you're moving the projector to position it in different areas or different locations it automatically adjusts if you've got that setting turned on and even when you put it on the ceiling it will give you a perfectly straight image and the brightness on that white ceiling was well just incredible and as you can see if I pan up it is just so bright it is unbelievable how good that it's almost like having an OLED TV on the ceiling it did look absolutely incredible. The light system is a MALC triple color laser optic. The MALC stands for Microstructure Adaptive Laser Control. It was painted and developed by the JMGO team and it actually has got nine patents packed into this thing. The link in the description gives you more information about this laser, but effectively what they've been able to do is give you 10 to 15% higher optical efficiency in a 40% smaller package size and it has 10% better heat dissipation, but the big thing is it's a 30% reduction in cost, and that means that cost saving can be passed on to the consumer. And all we really care about as consumers is does it deliver an incredible picture? And the answer, my friends, is yes. I have to say that from a distance of around 12 to 13 feet, I've been absolutely blown away. But I'm really excited about trying this on a plain white wall because when I tested it on the ceiling, it just looked incredible. The brightness was just absolutely fantastic. So if any of you are thinking that you need to go out and buy a special screen, you definitely don't with this projector. In fact, it may be better without one because you can get any screen size image that you want and get that incredible brightness. I've been blown away with this projector in everything that it does. I haven't found a criticism. It really is absolutely incredible. 
So my friends, if you're in the market for a new projector, then this could well be the one for you, the JM Go Ultra. It's definitely one that I would consider. The 4K Ultra HD picture is incredible. You can get a great daytime image, but also that nighttime image is absolutely stunning. Not only that, but you're getting a projector that delivers you incredible sound. Those two 10 watt speakers and that low 45 hertz bass really gives you that feel of being in the cinema. And the design of this thing just looks awesome. But also, it's the flexibility. You can point it anywhere with the smart tech that's built into it. It really does do the whole job. I have found one thing which I would improve, and that would be the remote. If this had a backlit remote, then it definitely would be the full package. But I'm really trying to find something to criticize. Guys, this is an exceptional projector. Check out the link in the description, and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments.